When I first moved here, the first couple of years, I'd say two or three years, it was kind of like a culture shock for me. Um, being away from you know all my single family members, and I've got two kids you know who's really close to me, and I hardly see them. I see them once every year for two months, and it's a struggle for me because you know I kind of like miss them every single day. And to make make things worse, like getting injured doesn't really help. It puts you in a very isolated place because you know you need family members around. You need. Uh, friends or close loved ones next to you but it's kind of like hard going asking for help because you know you don't want to intervene and interrupt other people's lives you know um, I think coming from like the Pacific it, it is we're very respectful people we, we don't like interrupting or intervening in someone else's relationship or, or life or you know if you meet after a rugby match, you'll say hi and bye. You know, you won't, oh, give me your number. But I think the way forward is, if you have you know, an, an Islander that, that, that's playing close to you or something, or even an Islander that doesn't play rugby, or it doesn't have to be an Islander, um, you know, just try and make some communication, you know, connect with them because, you know, end of the day, they will, your family to them, your family, their family to you. and. You could help each other, you could support each other, uh, and you know there's a in rugby there's a, a a lot of help around. All you have to do is ask and you know approach the right people, and they they will point you to the right direction or even help you. You know it is it's not easy, you know, going home <laughs> when there's no one there. You need to fit in rather than try and isolate yourself from people because the more you isolate yourself from people you just get lost whereas if you open up to people they're, they're there to help you you know uh, so you know don't be shy don't be scared don't be ashamed of what your problem or what you're going through just find the courage to approach someone and you know that person is probably waiting to help you or understand your situation or point you in the right direction or find someone that could help you. But I think I've, in the last 12 and a half years, 13 years, I've settled in real well, you know, I've kind of like no more ways around. Um, so it's kind of like, just like I said, finding, finding your own space, your own time to do things.